Good morning. Um, we are Shelly and Mike Kammermeyer. And wait a second here. Let me get us kind of centered. You can just go back to that. Yeah. Anyway, we're Shelly and Mike Kammermeyer. And um, well, I'm Shelly. This is Mike. Um, and we uh, own Inner Compass Reiki in, here in Danville, although we do travel to teach. But most of the time we're in Danville, California. Uh, we are happy to have you join us. If you can't, aren't watching us live or talking to us live, then um, we will have this recorded that you can, we'll send out the link and uh, you can watch it later. Or I think we figured out how to get it up onto YouTube, but that's maybe, that's a big maybe. So anyway, um, Thank you for joining us. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is uh, to just take a moment. If you are driving, please don't close your eyes. Uh, but I wanna just take a second to uh, get us all centered in here and with the Reiki energy. So what I like to, how I like to start it is to um, just go through the Reiki ideals and just quietly say them to ourselves. I'll say them and um, just so that you can join in. So um, just have your hands in prayer position, assuming you're not driving. If you're driving, please don't do this. Um, just for today, do not get, hold on to anger. Just for today, do not hold on to worry. Just for today, be filled with gratitude. Just for today, devote yourself to your work. And just for today, be kind to every living thing. Namaste, thank you. So, thank you for joining us. Um, last month I forgot to record so we're going to talk a little bit of repeat a little bit what we talked about last month which was how to use reiki in a relationship and um i think the biggest takeaway that we kind of came up with last month was that every uh relationship whether it's with a spouse or a you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, parent, child, whatever. Not only do you have the relationship, um, but you, well, you have each of you and you have the relationship as its own separate identity. So our, my recommendation is to, to just send Reiki to that relationship to make it as strong as possible and as, um, you know, just to keep it as healthy as possible. Um, you wanna say anything? Oh, well, you're doing good. No one to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick you under the table. You already did, <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, um, and, you know, Mike and I, both of us, we had, when we got married, we'd both been in, uh, we'd both been married before. And so we both kind of came into it with our own baggage and our own issues and, but also our own um, learning. Like we had already learned some lessons that, that you don't, um, you know, as life had gone by, we'd had a chance to learn some pretty important lessons, I think. And for me, my biggest lesson, because I tend to say what I think, is to that I can't unsay something. So, um, think somebody else. Um, so, what I, when you, when you can't, so when you can't unsay, what I mean when you can't unsay something is that when you are, you know, you say something not, uh, 
when you say so, I'm sorry, I, something just ding. pinged in my <laughs> on my computer screen. Um, when you say something that is hurtful or unkind, even if you apologize for it later, it's already been said. So, and and it's like you know that old thing where you can throw a plate on the ground and glue it back together, but it's not ever going to be exactly the same once it's been shattered. And so for me, I have learned to, you know, really, when I'm upset about something, not that he ever upsets me, ever. Um, but, you know, other people might. And so what I've, I'm learning and it's, you know, maybe my life lesson is to really think about something before I say it. And I think that Reiki is the, um, the reason that I've been able to do that because I have, um, you know, we say the Reiki ideals every day. And um, just for today, do not hold on to anger. Like I can, you know, I don't, I don't think it's, un, I don't think it's healthy personally to say you're never going to get angry because we're humans. Like we're, sometimes it's appropriate to be angry. Um, what I don't think is hanging on to it and letting it become like a motivating force in your life is healthy. So that's my thought on it. And your turn. My turn? Mm -hmm. okay. um, yeah, I mean, you, you can't, with the ideals and that, uh, the main thing is that you, you, you know, you don't worry about anger, uh, you know, or anything like that. And what we do is we meditate every day. We do self Reiki. So that keeps it calm. Uh, if during the day, if, if things get a little hectic, we take time out and just kind of, uh, breathe, if you will. Um, we don't fight. Um, we might disagree sometimes, but we really don't fight. Um, and I always said, because I don't have to win, but that's not totally it. It's just that we don't engage. We both, uh, we just try hard. That's all. And if you do say the Reiki ideals, you do meditate, you do self Reiki. Uh, it is, uh, amazing how it affects your life. So just something to think about. One thing we do have though, is the new Reiki magazine. And do you have an article? In I this? do. We oh. both have an wow. article. We in both this. have an article in it. So, so it's on the shelves now. Yeah. It's out there. Uh, and Barnes you can, and Noble Bar and, yeah, you can buy it at a, at a Barnes and Noble, or you can buy it at a, um, or, you. or you can just go online to Reiki.org and purchase it or, um, or if you come to our classes, you will uh, get one for free. Sure. That's part of your class. Um, and one of the other things that keeps our relationship really good is... Crystals. We went to Tucson. Oh crystals. my gosh, it was so much fun. We Are went, you kidding me? We ought to, we'll show you a couple of them here. We went to Tucson and... Um, uh, and we had uh like tucson the tucson gem show was unbelievable there's something month, like right? yeah it goes for a month there's something like thirty thousand vendors there like there are 60 locations that have football size tents. football field size tents or filled bigger. or bigger and filled with vendors. So anyway, we kind of went a little crazy. So that was fun. Anyway, we had fun with that. And what kind of crystals did we buy? We bought a lot of crystals. We bought some, uh, we bought a lot. We bought uh, some- Apophyllite. Apophyllite. And what does Apophyllite do? This is Apophyllite. Uh, Apophyllite is uh, called the Reiki stone and it's- uh, Give me that one over there. So. Anyway, Apophyllite, yeah, you can't really see it very well on these. Well, maybe you can if you hold it up. Okay. You can't see. Anyway. Anyway, it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's called the Reiki stone and it's for uh, connection with spirit. And uh, this one is called Celestite 
and that is for angelic communication. They're both, they're, they're kind of similar. They feel sort of the same energy. And then um, we also got a big uh, praiseo light, which is... Um, is that a real word? Yeah, it is a real word. Okay. I looked it up. You looked it up? It's like a green amethyst. And so it's good for, it's a symbol of love and it has for healing and balancing your mind. And so Mike's gonna try to bring it over here so you can see it because- um, There it is. There you go. It's huge. 39 pounds worth. Yeah. Can you see it all? Yeah, there, there it is. Tell them about what that does. It's for, wait, I wrote it down. It's a symbol of love. It has a meaning and properties of healing and balancing your mind. Don't you think that ought to help us? <laughs> Okay, so that's about crystals, but back to relationships. Um, I, I feel like that one of the most important things about Reiki and relationships is that the relationship you have with yourself and feeling confident and, um, and you know, self-love. Will you stop playing around? No, nope, just keep talking. It's um, it's working. Yeah. This is also why, because sometimes I just kind of shake my head. Um, that that back to self love is the key to um, having a good relationship. Like if you don't if you don't think you're worthy of love, then why would anybody else? love you. And so learning that and, you know, all of us have to develop uh, those skills over time. But I think that doing Reiki on myself for, I'm going to say 17, 18 years now, I'm trying to remember, uh, 17 years is uh, when I learned Reiki the first time. So I think Reiki just brings you back, to, it focuses you. It brings you back to what's important in your life and <clears throat> it keeps it on the front burner, if you will. So that's why we do Reiki every day, because we think about it. We think about us and we figure out what to do to make our relationship better. I buy crystals for my wife. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, and, and so once you, um, you know, the, the sending Reiki to, and then sending Reiki to the relationship, like, you know, you can send it to each other, of course, but then also supporting that relationship as its own identity um, is kind of, um, it, it just helps support that, you know, so you tend to, you know, be, be kinder to each, you know, it's like the Reiki ideals you know, be kind to every living thing. So one of those living things is the identity of your relationship. So anybody have any questions? Everybody's muted themselves. We do have one question that somebody sent. Oh, in. Well, yeah, but that's a different thing. Oh. So also we had kind of said, I also wanted to talk a little bit if you don't have any questions about relationships, is that um, this flu. Um, so I guess the first thing I wanna say about the coronavirus is, it is a, it, I understand it's a serious, something very serious. I'm not <laughs> minimizing that in any way. But what I realize is I, there's only certain things I can do about it. And as long as I do those things, I can't, um, I, I can't do anything else. I'm sending, you know, I'm doing the things that are practical to um, take care of our family. So, you know, we are taking, and I have a friend who is a, um, pharmacist and she sent out this newsletter and so one of the things she said was of course wash your hands daily I mean this should not be a surprise to anyone but for some reason it seems to be 
like washing your hands, sing happy birthday twice while you're washing your hands. That's the length of time. I wish they'd come up with another song because I'm kind of bored with it. But anyway, get plenty of sleep and eat a healthy diet. So, um, you know, you avoid sugars, you get natural daylight and fresh air and um, stay hydrated, manage your stress. So a couple of things that she added um, that I haven't seen a lot on social media is cooking with herbs with antiviral, antiviral properties is helpful too. So basil, cinnamon, cinnamon garlic, ginger, oregano, turmeric. Mm. Drinking herbal teas uh, such as Echinacea, fennel, ginger, lemon balm, licorice root, nettles. Um, those are all great things that you can do to just boost your own immune system. Um, she also says to use vitamin C, 500 milligrams four times a day, and elderberry syrup, uh, one teaspoon two to three times a day to just um, kind of keep yourself uh, at a optimum level. optimal level. And then um, if you feel like you are getting sick, uh, increase your vitamin D, increase your vitamin C, uh, take vitamin A and Larsidin is a scoop of pellets. Now, I don't even know what that is. So I'll just say, do the things that you, you know, vitamin D, vitamin C, vitamin A. And that way, you know, you can kind of like, if you get exposed to somebody who's got the flu or has a cold, just sort of up your own immune system so that you have, um, and then, you know, also you can, um, diffuse essential oils um you can you know if you belong to i think it's young living they have thieves i'm sure doTERRA, DoTERRA has something that's for that but um if you already have other oils like cinnamon clove um lemon orange some of the trees like pines and firs and eucalyptus are just helpful to if you're, you know, breathing that. That will help your immune system. And last but not least is do Reiki on yourself daily. If you um, have any, you know, if you're doing that, it's going to help. It it does help boost your immune system because it it helps with. Um, relieving stress and if you're stre if you are not as stressed your immune system is in better shape so there's that um let's see okay so somebody does anybody have any questions about that you guys are awfully quiet today i feel like i'm just zipping through this do they need to unmute themselves with their if you have any questions you can unmute yourself i have not muted anyone Okay. Um, another thing is, is that um, somebody asked us not about these uh, other things that are going on, but asked us how we use the distance symbol. And I'm going to let Mike do that. Well, you, you start out with, a, a, I, I guess, a prayer of intention, just saying, what you what you want out of this to send healing to the highest good to somebody you do the distance symbol uh you can you you can think it you can draw it out um just as long as an intention of sending it uh you add that first and you can add uh your choke array and you're not, not supposed, supposed to, to say, say the words, words uh, well it's hard there's other symbols you add then and you can send them to somebody uh, for their their highest good. For instance, I send every day to, uh, I have a stepfather in a, in a rest home 
Uh, I have other family members that have uh, medical issues. I send it to them every day. Um, we have other friends that are having a hard time, have cancer. Uh, another lady uh, had a stroke, so we send her Reiki every day. Um, and then we send, I send Reiki to the earth, to the people with, uh, uh, with the coronavirus, um, just for their, you know, for their healing. So, um, and I do it every day. And if everybody did that every day, I think we would probably see a change in things, but um, that's how I use it. I can use it when I'm, I'm driving my car. I don't have to do the symbol. I can think the symbol. I can send Reiki to anybody at, at that point, maybe to the car that just cut me off nicely. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a, that's a, do not, you know, be angry today type of thing. So I work on that. Um, you too? No, I said, you need to. I do not need to <laughs> stop it. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, that's how I use the distance symbol. Um, I mean, there's, there's a whole bunch about it, but that, yeah, this is all, we do a lot of this in the, our level two class that we teach as part of our beginning class, level one and level two, and we people get an opportunity. But the other thing you can send Reiki to is situations. And I think that this, uh, coronavirus, uh, along with, there's so many situations that, you know, the coronavirus is like all in the news right now but that doesn't mean in some of the other stuff that our under underlying issues don't need reiki sent to them before and after this you know this situation so i really firmly believe that we should be sending reiki to the planet we should be sending reiki to the situation of the way you know it's it's impacting um it's impacting a lot. And I think that the fear of what's going on is a bigger issue than, um, the, well, to me, it feels like the fear of what, of the unknown is a bigger issue than the actual flu. I could be, I might end up saying I changed my mind or I'm wrong about that, but I feel like the, the, Fear is making people not be them, them, their best selves. And that, um, and I think that the fear is more fear of unknown than fear of actually themselves personally getting a virus or getting a, I mean, cause we all get, I mean, I know that this one is maybe more, uh, intense or harsher than other, but we've, and I'm not saying that, um, you know, we know a lot of people who, if they got it, it, it could potentially be fatal. Like, I'm not saying that it's not a big deal. Like I think on the news they're saying, oh, well, if you're not elderly, well, you know, a lot of our friends are, we kind of are. Yeah, well, <laughs> and so, you know, I, I'm not saying that it's not important to be, concerned about it. I just think that it's also important to just not let it affect you in a way that you go out and buy all the toilet paper. Up yeah, the that's store. just that's ridiculous. Crazy. Yeah, I did go shopping yesterday. And uh, there was a lot of toilet paper, but there was no hand sanitizer anywhere. So so you can make your own and I, so I, you, you can, can find that own. on YouTube. I don't yeah. know how to do it. The main thing is, is just Soap wash your water. hands, yeah. soap and water, you know, common sense in a lot of ways, but, you know, and pray that you, you know, your family doesn't get it, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's the thing. That's how, how crazy it is. So. Okay. So any, uh, so sending, uh, so her question was about the distance symbol and how to use it. I, I want to make sure that we cover that because there's a, so the symbol itself is a little tricky to draw out or to, but 
you can also just use it as in your map, you know, just visualize it. I don't mean imagination, but just visualize it. And that is like a bridge that goes from you to wherever you are sending. It's just like this, it opens a portal that, that allows you your, the energy to go from you to someone else and um, or a specific situation. You know, one, one thing uh, is a good example is yours and Kathleen. Oh, okay. So um, one of my friends, uh, she had been hurt in a car accident and her neck and shoulder were really impacted. And I had just learned how to send Reiki to the you know, I just learned level two Reiki. And so I, I honestly thought it was kind of, um, where does she live? She lives in Las Vegas or she did at that okay. time. So, and I thought it was, I, I thought it was fine that I could send Reiki. I could give Reiki to somebody because I could personally feel it. But the idea of sending it across time and space just totally made me think it was bogus. bogus. <laughs> and, um, so it was, um, it, so she, my friend ha, who has always been like my cheerleader supporter for anything that I've ever done. We've been friends for, well, I want to say over 30 years. And she said, well, why don't you send Reiki to me? Um, and we'll see if we match. So oh, you were writing down the time. Yeah, you so sent I wrote down the time I sent it. She wrote down the time if she was if she felt anything, I would send her um Reiki. And I decided that I was gonna, you know, trick her so she wouldn't just assume I did it when I first got up and I didn't and I sent it, you know, so I sent it random times throughout the day. And I even uh if I went up got up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, would send her Reiki like at 3 a.m. So after a week, we compared notes and within every time she had a list of every time she felt it. And I, when I sent, I compared it to my list and my list, I would send it. Minutes, right? well, yeah, it was within five minutes every time she would feel it. And she said, love you at the bottom of it. Love you. Thank you, Kathleen. P.S. If you would please stop sending it in the middle of the night, I'd appreciate it because it wakes me. So even at the 3 a.m. thing, she would feel it. So yeah. it was uh, it was it was pretty, pretty eye-opening for me to be able to um, know that not only I mean it it was it made me more of a believer. I mean I was always a believer in Reiki, but I the distance Reiki was. Um, so, um, what else? Does anybody have any questions? It feels like we're just blowing through all this stuff. Okay. Well, we can just keep it short then today. What do we have, a half an hour on this? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this week. Yay! I'm super excited. Yay. I'm so excited to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Julie's taking our uh, master class this weekend, so we're pretty excited. We're really excited about that class. It's going to be a great class. Mm. Great group. Of Wonderful. Yeah. I have this thing where I say the circle is always divinely ordered, and it's always interesting to see like how people connect in a class because the classes are... Um, um, Classes are my our classes are. I should have turned my phone to turn the off dinger complete off, the yeah. dinger off on it, but it does it on the computer, so it keeps flashing. <laughs> Sorry, um, I, it's always interesting because like one class we had, um, it was the most bizarre thing. There were eight people in the class, and every one of them, I don't even know how we got on this topic, had all lived or were born in Michigan. Like, oh, that's weird. It's like we're in California. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, but then you know, once that once that got out, then 
everybody was talking about all the different, um, you know, they had, it was like this great gathering of Michigan people. And I mean, even I had lived there. So it was just bizarre. So it's always interesting to see, you know, sometimes it's that people have the same sort of underlying motivations to uh, take a class. Sometimes it's, um, you know, you know, like I've had a class where everybody um, had had like the same sort of trauma in, in their past. Um, it was a tough class to be in, but um, it, it was very healing. So it was good. Um, so anyway, I'm thinking that this one's going to be just a lot of fun. And because uh, ever I know everybody that's coming and they're all everybody's darling. I can't wait. Well, and the thing about this class is it's literally made up of people that you've already taught. You know what I mean? Yeah. We've all been through. And so like from different classes, like I don't know if anybody from my class is going to be there. Don't tell me. I want to be surprised. Okay. Um, you know, I imagine some might, but I don't know if, you know, it's going to be the same. It's probably not going to be the same class, but it's, so it's going to be interesting for you guys, right? Because you know all of us. Yeah. Funny. And it's fun to see everybody. Yeah. And, but the mix, like how we dealt ourselves in. Yeah. Like, yeah. how, this is the time. Like, I'm so excited. You know, if not, and you know, you can take the master class after six months, but if you, but, and some people sign up for the six month class, like immediately. Some people, like we had somebody uh, take level one and two four and a half years ago, and she just took our last master class. It was like she, Thought it was time. I thought it was time. And she just sort of popped in and we hadn't seen her for four years. It was so much fun to see her and see what had happened nice. in her life that had had changed her and helped her and how Reiki had been, um, you know, she went back to school and did all, you know, did awesome. all these things. So. Well, I had no intention of ever taking the master class. <laughs> I was just going to do it for myself. You know, that's why I took it. I was just going to do some self Reiki. And then the thing came. And even when, you know, you sent out that thing like, oh, you're eligible to take it. Um, I was like, ah, no, I'm not doing it. And then it just, got, it was in my brain, you know, like a worm or whatever. <laughs> I couldn't get out of it. And so I just know I'm supposed to be there. That's, I'm not fighting it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, um, I got the urge and I'm doing it. Yeah. Here's the thing. A lot of people take the master class with no intention ever of teaching it. And right. that's fun. Like, and because it just gives you some more tools and some techniques and some more amazing powerful. Techniques. Yeah. Yeah. It's very powerful. And then, you know, it might be, I mean, when I learned, when I took the master class, it was, um, well, I, I probably taught Mike right away because he you know, was listening to me talk about Reiki all the time. And he finally was like, fine, I'll, you know, learn it. Um, but, be, but until, except for him, it was probably four years before we, um, before I ever had anybody, um, mm -hmm. uh, somebody wanted to come in. Oh. So they're joining us. Um, so, Oh, I'm messing with the computer again. Sorry. So it was like four years before anybody said to me, Hey, could you teach me this? And I was like, well, I guess I'd have to like relook at all my stuff. And she was like, well, I love coming to see you, but I think it'd be great if I could do it on myself. And I said, you know, that's a great idea. You should do it on yourself. So I did, um, taught her and then pretty soon there was like two or three more people and pretty soon you know I was doing it fairly regularly you know it wasn't I and it was years before it occurred to me to um do it full time full time mm -hmm. like to be doing this full time I never thought that that would happen and here we are so time flies and interesting so, you just never know yeah so 
Um, it's so uh, good to see your name. <laughs> I know you're hiding from it. But it's she has, nice. she has curlers in her hair. Yeah. yeah. I just took them out, actually. Isn't that funny you would say that? Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I did. I just took them out, and it's, really, it's over never, curly. I would have bet a million dollars that you didn't ever put curlers in your hair. I mean, how many people do we know that actually... Here, I'm going to cam up just for a second, just to show you. Um, <laughs> this is hilarious, because it's like super curly, just... Um, Oh, look at you. Just got out. Nope. Now, how cute is that? curly. <laughs> That's funny. Mike, you are something else. All right. <laughs> funny. Yeah, he does have some amazing psychic abilities. And it's really kind of fun. Some days it's great, and other days it's not so great. <laughs> Yeah, it was really hard to pull off a surprise birthday party. I was just going to say something like that. Yeah, good luck. She actually did. I did, was, though. Yeah, I did in August. I did pull off a surprise birthday party. But I will tell you that it was one of those things where I felt like I had... Um, it took a village. It took a village. And it took... I had to, like, think about everything I said because I knew that he would uh, know if I was lying. So I had to be very careful. She about got really good at it. But I did, me. I did so. come up with some interesting stories that he actually Jeez. fell for. So. Well, you never lied. To That's me, so funny. That yeah. Was. <laughs> you know, I, I think the funniest thing about uh, the master class was after she took that, we were driving to Sedona for a, a crystal class. Oh yeah. And yeah, I had to have Reiki too. And I had Reiki one before, but I had to have Reiki two because I had to know the symbols because we were going to use that in a crystal class. And it was Laurel teaching, and I knew she'd see right through me. So a two-day drive to uh, Sedona, I learned uh, Reiki two, and she'd read the book, and then we would do the the study and everything. So and at night, he, when we checked into our hotel, I made him practice the sim drawing, draw the symbols. the symbols, and all that stuff. So. Yeah, so his his was a moving level two. Yeah, moving. We didn't do any meditations while I was driving, though. No. So yeah, that, that was, was good. good. Anyway, it'll be fun to see you this weekend or Friday. Yeah, I think so too. Couple of days. Yeah, just couple a couple of days. days. So, um, anybody have any questions? Anything that you want to ask about anything to do with Reiki or relationships or? Reiki and, you know, oh, you took an animal Reiki class. Oh, yeah. I went, I went up to uh, Portland last uh, last month, about the end of the month, and there, they came up with a new animal Reiki class, and she they had it at a alpaca, alpaca farm. You know, the little Disney creatures, they look like miniature camels, just long necks. Anyway... Uh, they're really cute they're really cute and we had they had horses they had dogs they had some chickens i don't think anybody rake on chicken but uh the alpacas and the horses and the dogs of course great class uh i'm going to be teaching it here yeah we got to uh, get the details i got to find some out. animals first yeah we got to find some animals or a Willing place to, animals, we got to find so. people that want animal that have a place that we can yeah, so, yes, so I'm going to look around, try to find something, maybe a petting zoo or, or something like that, that we could rent or use the animals or something for Reiki. So anyway, that that's coming up. That'll be fun. Um, we have other classes coming up. Oh, yeah. So uh, we have a Sekem Reiki, Sekem Sekim Reiki, which is... Uh, Egyptian? Egyptian. It's it originated in Egypt, and um, if you're interested in that, you have to be a Reiki master uh, to take that course. But it's um, it's it's a little it's different than the other Reiki. It's I wouldn't say it's better or the other is better. It just feels different, and I'm still I learned it a long time ago. And then I retook a course because I was a little, uh, I was curious about it to see how it felt after I had learned what I did. So, um, 
but we're teaching that because a lot of people are interested in that. And then um, I'm teaching an online uh, Chakra 101 Chakra. class. So I'm pretty excited about that too because people can be in their jammies and um, learn about chakras. So that'll be fun. If they wanna be in their jammies, they don't have to be. And uh, Mike is doing, what are you doing? I'm doing a, a Reiki journey class, uh, teach people how to do Reiki journeys. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah. So. Um, I think that's about it. Well, then we have a couple more one yeah, and so, two classes. Yeah, so and we've got a master and crew. I feel like the other person that's on this call is going to be in that level one and two class. I could be wrong. Caitlin's uh, quiet. Isn't Caitlin she? is very quiet. Yes. But I think she's in that class. Maybe I'm wrong. And. Um, Hi, sorry. That's this okay. is Caitlin. <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. Hi, I've been running around, so I didn't want to contribute background noise unnecessarily. <laughs> but yes, I am. I'm enrolled in my first Reiki class okay. in April. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. I'm Thank excited. You meet you in person. I recognize that your first name is spelled a little differently than some, so uh, that's why it kind of caught my eye. Yeah, it's the Irish way. My mom was Kathleen and hers was the Gaelic version, so I'm the Celtic version of Kathleen. Nice. Um, and I also just, I don't have any real questions because I'm just getting started, so everything is kind of new. Okay. Uh, I Great. Just, um, energy healing class a few years ago um so i think that there might be some correlation as far as um, um aligning chakras and all of that kind of stuff but it's all going to be new and exciting to me it's something i've been wanting to do for a long time well we're excited to have you because um well we're excited to have you anyway because we want more people learning but it it kind of um you know, the whole Irish thing, I can hardly wait to talk to you about that a little bit because oh, cool. the Irish I'm, you know, that's <laughs> like, if I could, move, if I didn't have children, I would move to Ireland, but oh, yeah. <laughs> I have kids who have kids and it really we would is, have to pay their way there. We would have to, so, we'd have to, no. yeah, so that wouldn't work. but I would, I would live there. I, I want to, we've been once and I'm planning on going back next spring. So a real short thing. When we went through the customs and going into mm -hmm. Ireland, she's crying. The guy, the, the, what was he? The customs guy. Customs he was, agent. He, customs agent. He was standing there and he says, uh, why are you here? And she says, because I'm home or something like yeah, She started like, crying. Uh, the, guy <laughs> looked, the guy looked at me and he goes like, have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when it, feels right it's right it's yeah just... yeah so, <laughs> so i'm um yeah anyway i am a basket case about ireland you know other people have other places and i think but i completely understand when they say oh i want i can't wait to go to italy because i love it there i'm like i get it because i feel that way about you know ireland yeah, it's number one on my places I want to travel. So like sixty-eight percent or something like yeah. that, right? And then I did the oh, we did the twenty-three and me thing. Uh-huh. And Mike, we sent him out the same day. Mike's came back and he was like forty-six percent Irish. And and then mine didn't come back. For like a month. I said they can't find you in the Pallades, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't, maybe you have stardust. I don't know what your DNA is. And then it came back <laughs> like 68% or something. So but then I had to humble I myself. Was, I was kind of feeling like, what if they come back that it's, I'm not very much Irish. Then I'm going to think that 23andMe is, you know, a waste of money because I, I don't believe it anyway. Well, you'd have tried something different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, they, they update it every now and then too. So if it wouldn't have come back that way, they would have had to update it later and correct yeah. it to show yeah. that you were. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, we're excited to have you uh, join us at that class. I think that um, the, you know, it's, it's, a fun class. it's a fun class and it's, um, you know, it's, it's, but it's a lot. 
So I will tell you that if you can to plan not to um, have a lot, I mean, everybody's got a lot going on in their life, but if you can like get a good night's sleep the night before and try to, um, try to, let's hold this thing out. Um, Sorry. Try to not have anything going on that e that first evening, the Saturday night. Um, we've had people that have come, at, you know, and said, oh, well, I have this dinner to go to on, you know, and I just feel like you get more out of it if you can just kind of focus on that. Yeah. But, you know, there's, you know, and, and there's, there's all kinds of information on the internet about what you should eat and what you should wear and what you should do. And I think just take care of yourself however feels most comfortable for you before you take a class. So, you know, you don't have to stop eating meat for two weeks beforehand. You don't have to wear all white. Somebody showed up in all white because she read on the internet that she was supposed to wear all white to have a moment. <laughs> and I was, I was like, um, no, I have never heard that. But but then on the other hand, I was taught at the beginning that when you're um, giving Reiki to somebody, you should wear black so that it does, the color didn't interfere with the energy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's not true either. <laughs> that to not be true. You know, when you come to the class, just relax. Come yeah, just comfortable come relax. clothes. Yeah, you, comfortable you can clothes. lay on the floor. On We yeah. do have blankets and everything. Yeah. So when we med do a meditation or two, there seems to be a lot of them in one or two. But, mm -hmm. Well, there's um, a lot of them anyway. So anyway, very casual and just uh, have fun. You know, that's the thing. Oh, well, thank you. I'm very excited. I'm glad I found you guys so locally and that I was able to see it before the class was full or passed. It was, uh, it already felt meant to be, so. Great, cool. great. We're, we're excited we're to have you. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. So does uh, anybody have any questions? Anybody else? See another one join. Mm -hmm. Somebody else joined us. Do you have any questions? Okay. No. Um, so this, so just to recap here, I want to um, just remind you to take care of yourself. Wash your hands. Don't worry. There's nothing you can do other than just you know, pay attention and, you know, I, I just use common sense. Yeah, use common sense. And if you do that, you'll be fine. And um, if you decide to stay home and not go as many places, you can always order the Reiki News Magazine and um, read the articles. So, um, mm -hmm. huh? this is I don't know. Um, and okay, so it's been about, uh, well, 50 minutes and we always try to keep it under an hour. So I guess we're going to sign off now. If anybody has any questions or anything, um, you're, you know, welcome to ask them. And if you want to, um, if, well, and, and, and if you have questions anyway, you're welcome to reach out to us. Our, um, Website is inner, I N N E R C O M P A S S, Reiki, R E I R E I K I. So that's innercompassreiki.com. And on there is a way to connect with us uh, via email. And if you um, ask us to call, we will. So uh, thank you, everyone. So, Julie, we'll see you this weekend. Yeah. And Caitlin, and Caitlin will we'll see, see you in April. In April. See you Friday. Yeah. yeah. Okey And Julie, we'll see you in April. We can't wait. No, Julie, we'll see her this week. No, weekend. Julie, we see this weekend. <laughs> Caitlin, <laughs> April. Super oh, confused. Uh, I'll be there. Whoever <laughs> shows up just come on now. All right. All right. Bye, everybody. Right. Nice yeah. seeing you guys. Bye. See you too. Thank you. Bye bye. Close. Stop recording.